Technologies Private Limited. My name is Ashim Dutta, and today we are going to discuss about VLSI Trainer, and its order code is 43540. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the working of this trainer kit. So this is the VLSI Trainer, and this is the FPGA CPU card, and here we are having the Xilinx Spartan XCS 3S 400 IC, and this is the seven segment display. This is the LCD display. these are the output status indicator and these are the input status indicator and this is the input switches and this is the matrix keyboard now let's see the working on this vlsi trainer so for that we required this programmer so we need to connect it here so by using this frc cable we need to connect this connector at cn1 and the other is connected at this programmer and now there is the usb and we need to connect this usb to the system so we need to use a computer system or a laptop system which is having windows 8 or 10 so we will connect this usb to our computer system pcs or laptop which is having windows 8 or 10 and it is better to having a window 10 os so after connecting this frc connector at cn1 and the usb connector at our system then we need to install the xilinx software which is provided along with this kit so we need to install the programs and the xilinx software so for that we need to follow these steps which are given in the manual so here the installation procedure of xilinx isc 14.2 software so we need to open the folder isc 14.2 which is provided with this trainer kit and then we need to copy that in any drive which we can name as d drive then we need to run the setup and we need to install this x setup to install xilinx 14.2 and we need to follow the procedure as above so after installing the x setup we will get a window and we need to click on next a new window will appear and we need to accept the license agreement so there will be two license agreements which will be coming on pop up window so we need to tick on the i accept and agree to terms and condition above check box and then we need to click on next so these are the two steps which we have to do and then we need to select product to install and there we will get the isc web pack and we need to click on next then again select installation options and there we need to click on next then again select destination directory and there we need to click on next then after all these steps the 70 to 80% installation will occur and after that we will get a pop up window where also we will get a uh, jungu driver installation pop up will come and again we need to click on next and after completion of installation of software then one window will pop up manage the license so for that to copy the license we need to click on load license and this is the path which we need to follow that isc 14.2 folder at xilinx and then isc 14.2 then crack then isc xilinx isc dot license and that we need to do so that is how we will get the xilinx software installed in our system these are the steps and as we need to install the software in windows 8 or windows 10 so for that there are some of the steps which are there as it is not totally compatible with windows 8 and 10 so we need to do some changes in the files that are there in the xilinx software so these are the steps which we need to follow which is also given in the manual so we need to open the directory which is this the xilinx software after the installation will automatically save a folder at your local disk c so we need to go there and then a xilinx folder will be there and then there we need to go to this 14.2 then isc location then this is the location and path which we need to follow and then we need to find this 
library portability.dll file and we need to change it to .dll.org then we need to make a copy of nosh.dll file and then we need to paste it there only and we have to rename that copied library file to .dll and then we need to again copy the nosh.dll file and we need to paste it to a different location that is this one isc underscore ds common library anti 64 and then paste it here and then we need to find the library portability dot dll file there and we need to rename it to dot org and finally we need to find this notch dot dll and we need to rename it to dot dll so that is the steps which we need to follow if we will install this xilinx software in windows 8 or windows 10 so after following these steps then the software will be installed properly after that we will get a shortcut at our desktop so from there we need to open that xilinx software so after proper installation of the xilinx software these are the two icons which we get at our desktop so we need to open this isa design suit 14.2 So this is the interface which we get when we open the Xilinx and here we get a pop up and we need to click on OK then here as we are having the XCS 3S400 so we need to select here as 400 like this and we need to click on OK. So it is compatible with XCS XC3S50 also so we need to select the proper FPGA Xilinx Spartan IC after that we need to go to new project or we can create a new project and with this we provide some of the projects which are provided by this kit so that is also there at the software section so here we are having this FPGA 14.2 so in this folder we are having all the programs which are given by this trainer kit so we can perform some of the experiments in this so let us perform the input output 16 LEDs function so we need to go to that FPGA 14.2 folder then we need to go to that IO 16 folder and then here we have to select this dot bit file and then we need to click on open and here we get this and when you will click on IO 16 behavioral so you will get that VSDL code so this is the VSDL code and now for running the program we need to right click on manage configuration and we need to click on run so this is the interface which we get so before doing the programming we need to switch on the kit also so you need to give the 230 volt AC supply to the main unit and then you can click on boundary scan so after double click on the boundary scan we will get this interface and here we have to click on write and we need to select initialize chain and now here again we need to click on io16 and that dot bit file and we need to click on open and we need to click ok now identify succeeded and now we need to right click on this and we need to click on program and here you can see we got the message program succeeded now we can move to our trainer kit so here you can see when the program is succeeded we will get this green LED 
indicated as done on this FPGA CPU card. So here you can see this green LED indicates that program is successfully done. And when you will press this reset button, the program will get erased. So now as we have done the input output 16 program, so there are 16 input switches and when you will press any of the input switch, we will get the same at the output. So currently all the switches are at high position. So now when we will press any of the switch one by one. So firstly we will press switch one. So this is the switch one and this is the input LED indication which indicates that all the inputs are in high condition and these are the outputs. So whatever the input we will provide the input and output LEDs will behave the same. So initially when all the switches are at high position that is at when they are not pressed they are in normal condition then we are getting the input LEDs on and we are getting the output LEDs also on and when we will press any of the switch like suppose we have pressed the switch 1 so now we are getting 0 at the input and at the output also. So one by one we will press all the switches and we can observe that the LEDs are getting off. Similarly we can again keep them at normal position and here you can see all the LEDs are working. So that is how the input and output LEDs works. So now we will perform the another experiment that is the LCD display. So again for that we need to press this reset so that the program gets erased automatically. So here you can see as we have pressed the reset the output LEDs are off. The input LEDs will initially on because they are showing the status of the switches. So that is how you can perform the first experiment and the step by step experiment execution is given in the manual. So you can perform the experiments that are given in the manual. So I will show you the second experiment that is the LCD display. So we need to go back to the software again. So now we will go to the software and now we will do the LCD display experiment. So now we need to close this and we need to select no. So now we will go to file and now we will open project and we will do the LCD. So LCD FPGA. So we need to open the LCD FPGA file and we need to select the Xilinx ISC project file and we need to click on open. So here also you can see that VSDL code and now we will go to manage configure and we will click on. So we have to go to the manage configuration project and right click it on and you need to select that run option. And again we need to double click on boundary scan. So this is the interface which we get and initialize chain. Then again we need to go to that LCD FPGA and then LCD dot bit and we need to click on open then ok and we need to right click it on and we need to click on program and here you can see we get the display message as program succeeded. Now we will see the output at the VLSI kit. So here you can see that on the LCD display we are getting the output as VLS01 FPGA kit. So this is the output which we are getting at the LCD display. So that is how you can perform this experiment also. So that's all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query regarding this kit, you can contact the Tesla Global website. You can find the link in the description. For more information, go through the manual. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe to our channel.